Hey guys, uh, this is Jeremy here, RC Collaborative. Today we're going to talk about my new uh, Nitro Truggy. I got a new Mugen MBX7TR and I just want to show it to you and see how I got it set up. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too. Hey guys, uh, we're in the garage here. I've got my MBX7TR Nitro Truggy. Uh, I just wanted to talk about this build. Uh, it's been, took me, it took me a bit to get set up, uh, but thanks to the help of Jeff Bolin who spent his Thanksgiving putting it together for me because uh, I honestly didn't know what I was looking at. I bought it used and the guy who sent me the truck didn't send me all the correct parts to put it together. So, um, not knowing everything like Jeff does, I wasn't able to figure it out, uh, but he took care of it for me. So, thank you Jeff, thank you for taking your time and uh, helping me out with that, it really helps. Um, with that said, I want to also thank Gene Hickerson from Dialed Hobbies. This truck wouldn't be possible without his help, uh, wouldn't be... If I would have got it done, it wouldn't have been as good, most likely, uh, because basically everything on this truck is from Dialed Hobbies, uh, built from everything they sell uh, with Gene's help and advice. So I just wanted to run through some of the things that I got on the truck here. I've got the Thunder Innovations uh, power switch. It's an aluminum switch, and I like I, I chose this instead of a normal flip switch because it has LiPo uh, low discharge protection on it. Granted, uh, with this Trinity battery, that have the, the lithium high voltage, it comes up to like 8.4, 8.5 volts fully charged, and I've never really seen it uh, drop down too much while racing, so I don't think I'll ever really hit low voltage, but if I, if I get lazy or something and go run it on like um, a storage charge or something stupid like that, this switch could help me protect the battery uh, by cutting off the voltage. So, and plus, it will never flip itself on or off. So, I like this switch. Uh, it's been a great purchase so far. You can get this from Dowd Hobbies. Um, and then I have two SRT servos. They're 9032, and these are the mix between high torque and high speed. Um, and what I found is that compared to my Protec 370 TBL, which is, it, they're both both these servos and the Protec are, are both rated around like 13 13 five transit times. Um, however, the SRT seems to be noticeably faster. Uh, especially with this high voltage battery um, the steering is stupid fast and I like buying higher tor uh, torque servos opposed to uh, higher speed servos because they're stronger and I don't want, I don't want them to fail on me uh, especially with the nitro car running the brakes on it I don't want it uh, I don't want to put a weak servo in there that's gonna have struggles and burn out the motor um, so I got two pretty torquey servos. Uh, these are, I think, 444 inch ounces of torque. And I think that was at 7.4 volts, but I run them at like 8.4 volts. So I'm more than likely getting like 500 ounces of torque out of these things. Um, but either way, no matter what, it's plenty. I've got my brakes dialed back pretty good. They're not, um, they're not, putting a lot of torque on it I don't want to burn my servo out plus I don't need I don't need to be cramming that much torque on the brakes but I do want my servos to be strong um, and then I've got VP Pro bearings when I got the truck I just replaced all the bearings in it so I've got the VP Pro bearings uh, they sell it dialed <coughs> they've got good prices you get a, a sleeve of 10 bearings on there <coughs> and then the other thing I got from them is I have the Atom <coughs> Excuse me. I have the Atom SV1 motor. Now, I bought this engine because it's basically an OS Spec 2 motor. If you look at the cooling head and the casting and everything on this motor, 
It's exactly, it's a spec two motor. Um, and it's made by OS. So for 180 bucks versus $500, I could buy three of these motors and keep spares on hand um, instead of just buying one OS motor <coughs> and I get the same reliability and power out of it. Um, I've just got this thing broken and I'll do a separate video on it, but I gotta say so far, it's, it's really impressed me and it, it came extremely tight. Um, it takes a lot of break in, a lot of heat. Um, you can't start it without heating it up for sure. Just gotta stay pretty hot with it. Um, but it's starting to, it's starting to run like it's broken and it's, it's, it's doing a good job uh, throwing this truggy around. I was practicing at Lake Park yesterday with some friends and um, it was really starting to wake up and, and show its colors out there, even though it was cold. Um, so, so far, even with me not having a bunch of experience in tuning, I've been able to keep it, keep it under control. It's, it's been responding to my changes and uh, it's doing what I want it to do. So I'm happy with that. I was afraid that uh, I heard OS motors are difficult to tune or they're, they have a short tuning window. But um, with the help of everyone and the information I've gotten and working with it so far, I feel like I've been able to keep it where I need it and it's, it's been doing good. Um, it's got, it's got, definitely got some power. So also, let's see what else we got here. I think that's about it. Um, you know, of course I went through the whole truck, did shocks, did fluids, everything like that. We've got Fender Innovation four shoe clutch on there currently. Um, they have, I'm running the medium black shoes with, I'm not sure what spring is in there. I think it's the 0.9. So um, I've got room to stiffen up on that. I can go with uh, the, the red shoes, which are 775, and then I can go with thicker springs. So I'm pretty sure those are the 0.9 millimeter springs in there. <clears throat> I had that apart yesterday put fresh bearings in the clutch bell and took a look at the clutch and everything. Uh, cleaned it up after practicing, <laughs> checked everything out. So that's the Truggy. Um, like I said, pretty much everything's from Dialed and I've been happy with it. At first, I wasn't sure what to expect. I, I didn't know SRT brand, I didn't know Adam, I didn't know any of these brands. So. I was, uh, you know, of course a little nervous, but I was reassured by local people and um, given advice on what to purchase. And I've been happy with everything that, you know, they offer. So I've been buying a lot more stuff from Dialed and will continue to be buying from there. And I enjoy, you know, trying new products and, and new brands and stuff and seeing how they work. Um, it's, it's easy to get comfortable or scared into buying what everyone else buys because you don't know any better, but uh, thankfully Gene's been helpful at Dialed and there's a lot of helpful people on the team and local people who, who know the products. And uh, I've been able to learn a lot about the products and uh, I really like them so far. So um, I really like the SRT servos. They're cheaper than the ProTec servos. They seem to be running better than them. So <clears throat> pretty much I'm happy overall with the truck. Um, I don't even really want to touch my eco buggy now because I'm so happy and, and, and infatuated with the nitro motor and getting it broken and running it. It's just a lot of fun. Um, I did race eco buggy and nitro truggy at Lake Park this Saturday or last Saturday and I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, but I had my struggles but also had a lot of fun. And anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, thanks for checking out the truck. And thanks to everyone who helped me get it going. It's, it hasn't been easy. Uh, it hasn't been like my eco buggy where you just throw it together, throw the electronics in and go. There's a lot more setup in this, a lot more tuning, a lot more stuff to do, a lot more maintenance on it. Uh, definitely want to keep my eyes on the bearings and all that stuff, especially on the, the clutch bell and that kind of stuff. Uh, other than that, uh, it's been fun. All right, have a good day, guys.
Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, comment below. Uh, please let me know if the videos helped you, what you would like to see in the next videos, and if there's anything we can do to make the quality of the videos better for you, that would be great. Um, if you're a vendor and you'd like to send me something to review, uh, product review, or would like to sponsor me for racing, uh, my email is just down here. Send me an email, we'll work it out. Um, other than that, collab on, guys.